hope he's not my last. They won a gold medal at the Sydney Olympics because they changed the way they did their business. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. Previous Olympics in 96, they were fifth. The one before that, they were seventh. That wasn't good enough for them. They changed so many things. If you work with your downline, if you build a team, you can achieve gold. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Englishman just told a joke. The translators in the booths at the back of here are part of my team. And I want you to give them a special round of applause now to say thank you for being part of the team. Okay, Ben talked about being on the starting line, waiting for the start. You're not on the starting line. The gun has already gone. What is the difference between people who are successful and people who are average? Successful people have certain traits, certain things they do. There's a few of them behind me on the screen. Successful people begin their day earlier and end their day later than less successful people. They work with a purpose, an objective. They can see a goal. They constantly remind themselves why. Are you doing this business because you have a specific objective in mind? Are you doing this business to improve the wealth and the health of your family and friends? There is a company in America that built a business by saying, it is all of your whys that make our business. I think they stole something from DXN because it is all of your whys that make this business. Those who can, do. Those who can't will always find an excuse why they can't. Those leaders I talk about. They respect the opinion of others. They may not agree with those opinions, but they respect them. They choose their own path to the top. Your choice is how you achieve your goals. It's in your hands. Nobody else can do it for you, just you. Recently, I was in Budapest, and I was invited to speak to some of the leaders about the importance of meetings. Whether it's a meeting where people come together like this, or a webinar, or a Skype conference, a diamond council, a business opportunity. The key thing successful people do is they get up, they dress up, and they show up. They physically go to these meetings, they log on the internet. Now this doesn't mean you have to wear a suit and a tie. That's not what dress up means. Dress up means you go to these meetings, you log on in the right 
frame of mind. You're professionals here. You've given up a weekend to come to a leadership meeting. You are leaders. Your job is to go away from here today and find future leaders. So the next time we come together, there are 500 leaders in the room. Okay? Everything you do, start with this question. Thinking about your business as a boat, will it make the boat go faster? If the answer is yes, do it. If the answer is no, don't do it. We have an expression in England which at the moment for me pretty much sums up the mood of my country. Don't rock the boat. It's easy to criticize. It's harder to lead. If we all pull together, we can make the boat heave. This means that as a team, if you concentrate on your goal, and you consistently and professionally pull together, you will achieve more. You will achieve your goal. Don't rock it. Because you can see in that top picture what happens when you rock the boat. It becomes unstable. When you don't rock the boat, when you pull together as a team, you achieve gold. If you rock the boat, you can sink the boat. So remember that leaders respect the opinions of others. They don't criticize. OK? Don't rock the boat. When we pull together, we achieve more. I don't want to go in the water. It's cold. I don't want to be the guy who's standing in my own rowing boat watching the ship disappear. Let's not rock the boat. I am delighted that Dr. Lim is here in front of me today to hear me say back to him something he said to me. There is no problem that cannot be overcome by greater sales. No problem. You concentrate on that mantra, you will be successful. How you get there is your decision. People say to me, I want better brochures. The reason my business isn't successful is the brochures aren't any good. They're a little bit old looking. If only we had webinars in all languages. I'm married to a linguist, and she's always telling me, Sean, you go to all these countries, try and learn some of the language. It's a courtesy. But I don't need to be fluent. I have the language of DXN. Competitor packages are often compared with DXN packages more favorably. I don't agree, but it's not relevant. That's not what's going to make your business successful. If only I had an extra incentive, my business would boom. Not true. Lots of companies have more successful incentives than us but they eventually are less successful. Who's number 24 in the global MLM industry? DXN. I guarantee you can find companies that have got wonderful, wonderful incentives. They're probably number 192 this year. In 10 years from now, in 20 years from now, with their wonderful incentives, they still won't be number 24. They still won't overtake DXN. And now I'm going to come to my favorite one, because as many of you know, football features quite a lot in my life. Who knows Cristiano Ronaldo is a footballer? Yeah? He's a very good footballer. How many, um, how many Hungarians have we got here today? 
Hey? Let me, let me hear your chants. Ria, Ria, Onga, Ria. Okay, so last week watching the football, Hungary were playing Portugal. Everybody said Portugal will win. They've got Cristiano Ronaldo. Answer me this question. Does one player make a team? Oh. One player is an important member of the team, but the team is the thing that wins, not the player. Thank you, Hungary. We play Iceland, not Portugal. Okay. Now, let's have a look at that really fantastic success story that DXN is experiencing this year. Let's have a look at Turkey. In Turkey, by comparison, I don't hear people saying, we need new brochures. They didn't have anything like the products that we have here in mainland Europe. They only had six. The members were not familiar with the way the intranet system works. The staff didn't know how DXN's back office should work. Distances between the cities are huge. Dr. Lim and I spent, what was it, Laszlo, five hours driving between Istanbul and Ankara so the doctor could give one of his fantastic ganotherapy sessions. Five hours one way, five hours the other. The distances are huge. Did it stop the members? No, they traveled too. Distance should be no impediment. We have buses, we have trains, we have cars, we have planes. Distance is no object. And you also have the internet. You don't need to go. When some of the members spoke to me about how they heard about DXN, how they heard about our industry, Many of them were already in MLM companies, already earning money. So coming to a meeting, for them, risked losing an in income they already had. But they saw a better future with DXN in the long run, so they joined. They didn't wait for the official opening. They started to sponsor people immediately. These are the six products they started with. Six products. And they have built a fantastic business, and it's growing still. This was the official opening of the office. Many of the members that are here had started working on their businesses long before a date or even an office had been chosen. They understood the starting gun has already been fired. You're in the right industry at the right time. This isn't a cliche, this is borne out by facts. Now, in time